Greetings to you from all of us here at MEDRA, Methodist Development and Relief Agency. MEDRA is a faith-based non-governmental organization uh, working in Zimbabwe and the service arm of the Methodist Church um, in Zimbabwe. Uh, MEDRA envisions a society in which all enjoy abundant life and God-given dignity. Uh, so we work to empower communities to sustainable livelihoods and to experience social justice. MEDRA has been in operation now for more than 10 years and was officially registered as a non-governmental organization in 2009, but operations began even as far back as 2004. Uh, um, there is a barrier or the tabo taboos that exist um, for young people to access services even though they need them, uh, especially within the confines of the church. Um, so we are working now um, to bridge that gap. Um, we realize this, that there is a divide between what the church expects uh, young people to do and reality what young people are doing. So the church uh, wants uh, young people uh, to abstain um, from sex before marriage. Um, in reality, what is happening on the ground is the young people are engaging. So there's that divide. Um, so there's need for dialogue. So what this project seeks in essence to do is to create a dialogue, a dialogue space uh, for young people to air out their concerns and their views and for young and for the church leaders and the church to assimilate uh, what is happening on the ground for young people so that uh, we can find um, um, solutions to help young people to access um, um, services relating to um, SR and HR. Um, so so we we'll look forward to working with Amplifying the Change because um, there is a great potential um, for lasting uh, impact um, because the church um, already has um, structures. There's the church, Methodist Church, has a representation uh, within all the districts of the country. So imagine the possibility um, of using that as a vehicle um, to, to push the agenda of SRHR um, not just within the confines of the church but using that as a vehicle to push it even within the societies in which the church exists. Breaking the ice seeks to bridge the gap that exists for young people to access sexual reproductive health rights through dialogue. So the project seeks to create a space for dialogue within the church so that young people and children can access uh, sexual reproductive health rights and also so that church leaders and the church can discuss on SR and HR and for young people to speak out. So our hope is through capacity building workshops and programs on SR and HR to sensitize church leaders uh, district bishops, school heads of Methodist schools, and youth leaders to talk and dialogue and to host dialogues on SRHR. We're also looking to do training of trainers on SRHR to, to cascade down services and information on SRHR. We also look to partner with other service providers such as New Start and Population Service Zimbabwe um, on SRHR and also we'll be using structures already within the church such as Methodist Young Disciples, Medoso, BCU, GCU, YPYA and the Conditional Youth Office uh, to host dialogues on SRSR and HR. MEDA looks forward to partnering with Amplifying Change uh, to help young people uh, in our nation in Zimbabwe to access services on sexual reproductive health rights